Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 3, Understanding of Quadrilaterals of SOF International Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve promptly, increase your confidence level, perform better in the exam and obviously the higher score in the exam. So let's solve one by one. ABCD is a rhombus in which altitude from D is D to side AB bisects AB. Then angle A and angle B respectively are planned. So let us draw first. Say this is A, B and somewhere C, D will be rhombus, vertex will be somewhere here and it bisects. So somewhere like this, let's say P, if I draw, it looks like this, rhombus looks like this, A, B, C, D. From D, it bisects AB. Then what we have to find out? Angle A, that is this. And angle B, that is this. So this is your rack. Bisect means it is perpendicular. 90 degree. Correct. And AP equals to PB. Let us join one more with this B and D. Let us take this as a A. This is A. Therefore, AB equals to 2A. If AB is equal to 2A, that's equals to AD2. That is also 2A equals to BC equals to CD because rhombus has equal sides. So this is also 2A. Let us find out PD. Let us apply the Pythagoras equation theorem which is nothing but AD square equals to AP square plus DP square. Therefore, dp square equals to ad square, ad is 2a, that is 4a square minus ap square, that is a square. So, dp square is 3a square. Therefore, dp is under root 3a. Let us find out this bd. Apply the Pythagoras theorem for triangle d p B, B for Bombay. So in that case, BD square equals to PB square, that is A square, plus DP square. DP square is 3A square, that is 4A square. Therefore, BD equals to 2A. So this is also 2A, this is also 2A, this one is also 2A. So it's a triangle D A B is equilateral. So if this triangle is equilateral, that means angle of each equilateral triangle, that is angle D equals to angle A equals to angle B. Not angle B, it is D B P, this angle. However, we have to find out this complete. And that equals to 60 degree. So this part, angle D, B, P is 60 degree. And angle A, that is 60 degree. So 60 degree is the first answer. Angle A is 60 degree. 
that is no so a is the answer in options if you see only a has angle a 60 degree so that's why a is the answer but let's cross check 122 let's find out angle b same way if you see this is 2a this is also 2a and this is also 2a that's why triangle d d c b is also equilateral d c b is also equilateral correct so this is also 60 degree and therefore angle b angle b means angle a b c equals to angle p b d p b d plus angle d b c this is 60 degree this is also 60 degree hence it is 120 degree that's why option a is the right answer next the exterior angle of a regular polygon is one third of its interior angle how many sides does the polygon has so what is the formula for exterior angle exterior angle of regular polygon regular polygon means all sides are equal exterior interior interior angles are also equal exterior angles are equal as well as interior angles are equal both are not equal so exterior angle equals to 360 degree by n an exterior angle of a polygon is an angle at vertex of the polygon outside the polygon formed by one side and the extension of an adjacent side which depends upon the number of sides that is 360 by n. What about interior angle? Interior angle of regular polygon is 180 degree minus exterior angle so if i put okay then there is an equation is given relation is given exterior angle exterior angle of a regular polygon is one third interior angle so if I put here in this equations 180 degree minus one third interior angle. Let us take this, this side. So interior angle plus one third interior angle equals to 180 degree. Therefore, three plus one, four interior angle equals to 180 degree into 3 by 4 interior angle equals to so it is 4 45 are so 45 into 3 let us give it 45 into 3 so that's the interior angle now let's find out the exterior angle one third of 45 into 3 3 3 gets cancelled so 45 degree so interior angle is 45 into 3 exterior angle is 45 degree that's for let's use these equations number of slide sides equals to 360 degree by 45 so 45 to the 90 and 94 za that's why answer is 8 that is b for bombay 
See, there is another relation in interior angle also for a regular polygon. It is nothing but 2n minus 4 by 2 uh, by n into 90 degree. You can use this equation also and then find out the n directly. Let us solve. Let us use this equation also here. Uh, 180 degree, not, not here, here. Say external angle equal to one third interior angle and interior angle means 2n minus 4 by n into 90 and exterior angle is 360 by n. So n, n get cancelled 90 fours are that's why 2n minus 4 equals to 12 and hence 2n equals to 12 plus 4 that is 16 and n equals to 8. That's another way to solve this exam, uh, this MCQ. Let's go for next. If the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisects each other at right angle, then it is obviously it is a rhombus that is C as well as square but square is not there. Next, the number of a sides of a regular polygon whose each exterior angle has a measure of 30 degree is so we know exterior angle <coughs> equals to 36, 360 degree by n. Therefore, n equals to n is number of sides by exterior angle and exterior angle is 30 degree. So this cancels 12. So n equals to 12 that is 8. Next. In the given figure, the value of x, this, is blank. So, how many sides? 1, 2, 3, 4. That's, that means total sum of interior angle. Sum of interior angle is n minus 2 into 180. That's the sum of interior angles. N is 4. So 4 minus 2 into 180. That is 360 degree. So sum of interior angles will be 360 degree. Now this is 90. That's why this will also 90. Now let's sum up. Now let's add up interior angle of this is A that is 90 plus 60 degree plus 70 degree equals to 90 plus 60 150 150 plus 7 that is 220 let us subtract 360 minus 220 that is 0 4 1 so it is 140 so answer is B next If each pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal and parallel, then it is parallelogram because in kite adjacent sides are equal, not the opposite. Trapezium pair of opposite sides are parallel, but trapezium only one pair are parallel. So parallelogram is the right answer. That's why it is C. The given quadrilateral E, F, G, H is a parallelogram. That is not concave. Yes, because one of the angle is greater than 180 degrees Celsius. That's why it is concave. The ratio of two sides 
the ratio of two sides of parallelogram is 3 is to 5 and its perimeter is 48 centimeter then the sides of parallelogram are so 3 is to 5 so if we see some options 3 3 is a 9 this is not there this may be this is not there this may be so out of b or d so let's quickly calculate suppose the sides are 3x and 5x and its perimeter so perimeter of parallelogram is 2 times 3x plus 5x that is 8x equals to 48 so x equals to 48 by 16 that is 3 so one of the side is 3 3 is a 9 and second side is 15 so b is the right answer next if the given figure in the given figure line rt that is this is drawn parallel to sq if q q p that is this angle is 100 q p s then p q s p q s that is 40 p s r where is p p s r complete this is 85 angle q r s that is this 70 then angle q r t we have to find out this correct so first of all this is total is 85 so angle p s q that is 100 plus 40 140 it's a triangle so 180 minus 40 is 40 therefore angle q s r that is 85 degree minus 40 degree so it is 45 so this angle is 45 correct now we have to find out the this q what we have to find out is angle q r t that's what we have to find out Sorry, let's uh, uh, we can find out this angle that is 70 plus 45 70 plus 45 is how much uh, 1 1 5 let us subtract from 180 so it is 5 then 6 so this is 65 now this is this line is parallel to this line therefore this angle this angle t r let's say some p uh, not p a angle t r a also 45 degree this angle because this rt is parallel to sq correct so this is 70 this is 45 that's why now we have to find out this so it is 70 plus 45 70 plus 45 is 1 1 5 correct and this is the horizontal line that's why it is 180 degree so 180 degree minus 115 is 65 so answer is b this is 70 this is 45 subtract from 180 that is 180 minus 115 it is 65 next which of the quadrilateral is not parallelogram so parallelograms are both pairs of opposite sides are equal and parallel rectangle so yes 
स्क्वायर तो यस काइट इट्स ए एडजेशन बट नॉट द ऑपोजिट साइड दिस आर पैरल एडजेशन आर पैरल सो काइट इज नॉट द पैरलोग्राम रोमबस यस सो आंसर इज सी नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट डायगोनल्स ऑफ parallels are parallelograms are equal not necessary for rectangle it is not equal so a is not the correct statement b the diagonal of a rectangle are perpendicular to each other for square and rhombus it's true not for rectangle if the diagonal of a correlator intersect at right angles it is not necessary rhombus correct it may be a square so that statement is correct every correlator is either a trapezium or a parallelogram or a kite not necessary it may be a rhombus or it may be a square so this statement is also not correct hence answer is c next four angles of a correlator are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 the difference between the greatest and the smallest angles so four angles of a correlator's total sum is 360 degree and let us sum up the terms of the ratio that is 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 6 plus 4 10 that means it is Let us say each angle is one x, two x, three x, and four x. Therefore, x equals to if I add up, it is ten x equals to three sixty degree. Therefore, x equals to thirty six. And what we have to find out the difference between greatest and the smaller. That is four x and x. So difference is three x. So three into thirty six. Six is a eighteen. Three is a nine. Ten. So answer is C, one zero eight. A trapezium in which non-parallel sides are equal is said to be right trapezium equilateral. It is a isosceles trapezium. That's the definition of the isosceles trapezium. Which of the following can never be the measure of exterior angle of a regular polygon? Now, exterior angle of regular polygon is 360 degree by n, where n is the number of sides. Correct. So, if I take 22, if I divide 360 by 22, then sides n will be in decimal, not the whole number. If I divide by 36, it is 10. If I divide by 45, it is 8. And if I divide by thirty, then it is twelve. But for twenty-two, the sides are decimal, so it's not possible. So that's why exterior angle of a regular polygon cannot be twenty-two. The quadrilateral having one pair of opposite sides parallel is called in square. Both the sides, rhombus, both the pair. In trapezium, only one pair. Parallelogram, both. Correct. That's why answer is C. It's a trapezium. Rohit has six wooden sticks of equal length. He wants to join all of them in such a way that they make a regular polygon. at what internal angle he has to join wooden stick with each other so there are six wooden stick that means it's a polygon having six sides so hexagon so first we have to find out the sum of internal angle that is n minus 2 into 180 degree So n is number of sides. That is six minus two. So four into one eighty. Four into one eighty. Eighteen two is a. That is seven hundred and twenty. Correct. Now, what is the 
formula for interior angle interior angle equals to 2n minus 4 by n into 90 n is number of sides that is 12 minus 4 that is 8 by 4 uh, by 6 into 90 6 15s are so 15 8s are 120 so that's why he has to go for 120 this is not required or we can do 720 by 6 sides that is also 120 because each end for a regular polygon angles are same sides are same interior angles are same external angles are also same so it is 120 a tool is playing in a playground which is of the form of parallelogram he observes that the diagonal of the playground are 80 meter and 60 meter long so the playground can be the shape of rectangle he is playing, he observes the diagonal of the playground are 80 meter and 60 meter. Correct? So in rectangle and square, diagonals are of equal length. Correct? While in case of a kite, it is not the parallelogram so left out is rhombus in rhombus yes it is possible that parallelogram having diagonals are not equal 18th match the following column 1 column 2 diagonals of a rectangle so diagonal of rectangle are bisect each other at right angle, bisect each other at right angle in case of a rectangle, so no, bisect each other, so yes, equal and bisect each other, no, equal and bisect each other at right angle, wait, wait, diagonal of a rectangle, so bisect and equal and bisect each other that's why because this is right angle it cannot be a right angle so diagonal of a rectangle p with 3 that is equal and bisect each other p3 that is b let us cross check q4 diagonal of a square equal and bisect each other right angle correct so q4 is correct let us see r diagonals of a rhombus r1 bisect each other at right angles correct diagonal of a parallelogram s2 that is bisect each other hence right answer is b ABCD is a parallelogram. Find the angles X, Y, Z in the given figure. So for parallelogram Z and X, opposite angles will be same. So just see X and Z, 40, 60, not there. 60, 60, maybe. 50, 50, maybe. 60, 70, not. So either B or C, correct? That's why we have to find out this angle, Y. Let us find out Y then. So first, uh, this is 40, the perpendicular. So let us first here find out this angle, X. Because if I take this triangle, triangle E, B, C then angle B equals to 90 plus 40 that is 130 180 minus 130 equals to 50 degree so this is 50 
this is 50 just check so c is the answer let's cross check about uh, x and z we find out now let's find out y so this is 50 this is 50 hence this angle is 130 why because the sum of interior angle is 360 degree opposites are same which is 50 50 that is 100 so 360 minus 100 is 260 divided by 2 that is 130 hence this angle y which is equals to angle e c f equals to angle b c d that is 130 minus angle b c e that is 40 minus this angle so this angle will be 90 plus 50 that is this will be also 40 angle f c d that is also 40 that's why 130 minus 40 40 90 so it is 50 so c is the answer next select the incorrect incorrect statement every rectangle is a square it's a incorrect correct so answer is a let's cross check others also a quadrilateral can be drawn if all four sides and one angle is known correct triangle is a polygon whose sum of exterior angle is double the sum of interior angle that's also correct if diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal it must be a rectangle if diagonal of a quadrilateral are equal it must be a rectangle no this is also incorrect it may be a rectangle that's the right statement see if diagonals are quadrilateral uh, of, suppose this is the square it's a quadrilateral not square let me draw here then diagonals are also equal so it here the right statement is it may be rectangle reason this see if you use it must be then it's an incorrect statement so answer will be d also correct a is also correct question is wrong so rather than it must be it should be it may be rectangle because square has also square is also quadrilateral and diagonal are equal rhombus are is a quadrilateral but diagonal are different so square can also come correct so this question is little bit it's a typographical mistake rather than it must be it may be then it that statement will be correct if it is it must be then that is incorrect because square is also a correlator having a diagonal equal at the same time 90 degree next okay so that's all about the solutions of chapter number three understanding correlators of SOF International Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is Vithalam Academy at the red gmail.com. So, thank you and wish you all the best.